All right, fam. Josh here. Want to go over uh, one of my favorite uh, denim jackets. This is a uh, what I'm wearing is a new Type Two from the Flathead. It's their signature denim, um, designed to fade incredibly fast. I think when I bought mine from uh, Self Edge back in 2011 or so, um, they were advertising 30 watt, you know, 30 wears, some intense fading. Um, to me, like the special places on this is just the unexpected, you know, crease in the pocket. Um, the store, this jacket has so much history and stories. Um, it's a size 40. I grew out of it quite a while back. Um, Ben's been wearing, so mine's probably got at least three years of wear and tear on it. Um, Ben's been wearing his about a month. You can already see where it's set in on the arms. Um, so Ben's uh, response to me when I explained to him how excited I am about the flathead was, where'd you find out about flathead? What do you know about flathead? Apparently, um, a lot of the forums from the uh, mid, early 2000s are um, extinct or the photos are, have been deleted due to photo bucket um, subscriptions. Um, but back in the day, some of the be most beautiful fades were from the flathead, uh, whether it was jeans or jackets or even their shirts. Uh, their Wabash work shirts, a grill piece for, for many. Um, this is a brand new uh, size 44. It's layered with a heavyweight Jackman double G uh, hoodie. It's a, a great piece, guys. I'm considering grabbing this one. I just grabbed an Ironheart Type 3. Uh, I do have these coming in at a Type 3 as well here shortly. Um, but I'm considering getting this number two since I can't wear my size 40 anymore. But if you guys just take a look at some of these fades, and this wasn't washed a lot. I think I've washed it twice, soaked it once, the original soap. So the story with this little uh, Bobo here is these do come unsanforized meaning you have to soak them. They will set into your body pretty fast. Um, when I did this one, it shrunk up quite a bit. I'm 5'7". Uh, at the time, I was probably about 170, 175, um, wearing a 40. And it, I felt a little bit short. So I put this in my uh, sheet metal brake, and when putting it in the brake and clamping the waistband down, the buttons here pinched the fabric and made a couple holes on a brand new denim jacket. When it was as dark as it is here, that dark brown thread was all I had and I just kind of darned that up. Um, as it's faded, the, the thread's shown through. But just a little story to tell you guys. What I did is clamping in the, uh, in the uh, sheet metal brake, I had a iron hanger sort of like this and I put a chain fall come along, uh, ratchet strap type system on it and I stretched it back out, giving myself another half inch of, of length. Um, it's the nerdy shit we do as uh, denim fans. Um, no, no side pockets. If you see me just reach for a side pocket, kind of got spoiled to that uh, Type 3 from Ironheart. Um, but great piece, guys. It's going to be an amazing fader. I know some of you guys are joining uh, denim fading competitions first of the year. Keep your eye out on any of uh, the flathead. It's going to be an extreme uh, high contrast fading. Um, or can even uh, wash it quite often and get a real vintage fade to it. A lot of vertical lines, vertical streaking. Um, just a beautiful piece. Hit us up if y'all have any questions. Everything's going to be measured and sized up on the website. If you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel or our social media, email blast, etc. We'll try to show you guys any sales parties or uh, new product coming in. And share this with your friends as well. Help us grow. We appreciate your help, guys. Thanks.